Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine, safe and healthy. This is me Miss Anya and today we will be doing the continuation of our chapter of 5C Hajj along with your book activity and your copy work. Lecture number 6. Unit 5. 5C Hajj. Okay, so let us continue and our first topic will be plain of Arafat. It is also known as Wukuf e Arafat. It is a large plain a few kilometers from Makkah. All the Hajis come here on 9th of Dhul Hijjah. Without doing it, there is no Hajj. Okay? Medan e Arafat. Is it Wukuf e Arafat ke naam se bhi jana jata hai. Ye Makkah Mukarama se chand kilometer dur ek wasi medan hai. Tamam Haji no Zil Hijaku Yaha Atehe or Haj Kye Bagher Kui Haj Nehihota Abjase Yabni screen puppy dicks up there, Apko Chari Minches the Kaijaria or both clearly mentioned Kia Jare, Yapa Apko or Fatka Madan the Kaijare Tike. Now, this is the, our next part, which is Mustalifa. A few kilometers from Arafat is a place called Mustalifa. From Arafat, Hajis come here after sunset and it is here that they offer Maghrib and Isha prayers together and stay the whole night on the 10th of Zil Hijjah. After offering the Fajr prayer, Hajis go to Mena to throw pebbles at Jamarat and to offer the sacrifice Qurbani. Isko hum Muzdalifa kehte hain, ab aap apni screen pe bhi dekh sakte hain ki yahan pe sari Hajis tayar hue hain. Kyuke sunset ke baad ye log yahan pe maghrib aur isha ki namaz ek saath padhte hain aur phir ye log kankriya pekhne jamarat ki taraf jate hain theek hai arafat se chand kilometer dur ek jagah hai jise mustalfa kehte hain arafat se haji qurub e aftab ke baad yahan aate hain aur yahi wo maghrib aur isha ki namaz ek saath padhte hain aur puri raat qiyam karte hain Zul Hijjah ki 10 tarikh ko namaz fajr ki adaigi ke baad Haji Jumarat ko kankariyan phekne jate aur qurbani dene ke liye Mina tashreef le jate theek hai isko hum log mustalifa kehte hain Next we have Mina and Jumarat between Makkah and Arafat is the place where Hazrat Ibrahim alaihi salam had brought his beloved son Hazrat Ismail alaihi salam to sacrifice him In order to please Allah almighty it was here that Satan had tried to stop him, it was at that time. Hazrat Ibrahim Ali Salam had cast pebbles at Satan and driven him away. Okay, is ko hum log mina kehte hain. Makai mukarre maarar fat ke darmiyan wo jagah hai jahan Hazrat Ibrahim Ali Salam apne pyare bete Hazrat Ismail Ali Salam ko Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala Rabbul Izzat ki khush karne ke liye inki qurbani dene ke liye laaye the. Yahan par Satan ne unhe rokne ki koshish ki thi. ये वो वक्त था जब हजरत इब्राहिम अलैहि सलाम ने शैतान पर कंकरियां डाली और उसे भगा दिया नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज जमरात दिस इज द थ्री स्पॉट वेयर शैतान हैड ट्राई टू स्टॉप हजरत इब्राहिम अलैहि सलाम हैड बीन मार्क्ड दीस स्पॉट्स आर कॉल्ड जमरात टू फॉलो द सुन्ना ऑफ हजरत इब्राहिम अलैहि सलाम हजिस को देयर टू स्टोन जमरात दिस इज कॉल्ड रमी और शैतान ने जब हजरत इब्राहिम अलैहि सलाम को रोकने की कोशिश की थी इन दिनों कुछ जमरात कहते हैं हजरत इब्राहिम अलैहि सलाम की सुन्नत पर अमल करना चाहिए हाजी वहां जमरात को पथराव करने जाते हैं इसे रमी कहते हैं ठीक है दीस वर द टू मोर स्टेप्स ऑफ हज मिना एंड जमरात अब जैसे कि आपको पता है कि मिना और जमरात के तीन पिलर्स होते हैं यानी कि इनके तीन सुतून होते हैं क्या क्या चले हम देख लेते हैं आपकी पिक्चर में भी मेंशन है और मैं आपको बता भी देती हूं सबसे पहले जमरात अल अकाबा जो कि सबसे बड़ा पिलर होता है फिर जमरात अल वस्ता जो कि मिडिल पिलर है और फिर आखिर में जमरात अल सगरा जो कि सबसे छोटा पिलर है यानी कि द स्मॉलेस्ट पिलर ये हमारे तीन सुतून है ठीक है अब अगर आप अपनी पिक्चर को भी क्लियरली देखेंगे तो उसमें भी आपको बताया जा रहा है कि दुल हिज्जा के जो हिस्सा है मक्का से जो गुजरता है सबसे पहले लोग यहां पे कंकरियां यहां पे मारते हैं ये तीन जमरात जो बने हुए हैं इन पे ठीक है तो ये वो सुतून है जिनको आप मिनरात और जमरात कहते हैं ठीक है ओके सो नाउ लेट अस बिगिन विद आवर बुक एक्टिविटी व्हिच इज ऑन पेज नंबर 71 वी हैव टोटल 9 आई विल टेल यू द फर्स्ट 3 
and then remain and try to do it by yourself it's quite easy and simple and you can easily find in your chapter okay so let us begin fill in the missing letters first one Hajj is the dash pillar of Islam so for this the hint is given for you at the third letter it's F so the answer will be fifth and moving on to the second one a Hajj must wear a specific dress called Ihram and the third one making seven rounds around the Kaaba is called Tawaf okay try to do the remaining okay First of all, we will make the title page of Unit 5C Hajj. As you can see on your previous screen, then the sub index and finally your copy work. So let us begin. First of all, you will give the heading of index. First monthly or final term, Unit 5, 5C Hajj. Book activity, page number 71. Fill in the missing letters. Copy work, question and answer. Okay, do it exactly as it has been shown. Then let us begin with our question and answers. The first question for whom is the Hajj first? Hajj kin logo ke liye jo hai lazim hai. So the answer will be it is first on every adult Muslim who can hear the regular and travel expenses and who is able to reach Makkah to perform Hajj once in his lifetime. Okay. Moving on to question number two. What are the places where the rituals of Hajj are carried out? Answer will be the rituals of Hajj are carried out at the following four different places. Number one, Makkah Mukarrama. Number two, Plain of Arafat. Three, Musdalifa. And fourth, Mina. Now we have question three and four. What is forbidden during Hajj? Hajj ke daran kya chiz mana hai ya guna hai? So the answer will be during Hajj it is forbidden to wear a serene dress, use fragrance. Have your nails or hair clipped, argue or fight amongst one another, hunt or kill an animal, even a louse. Moving on to question number 4. What do we know about Makame Ibrahim? Answer. It is a stone having the footmarks of Hazrat Ibrahim as it was on this stone that he stood while he constructed the structure of the Kaaba by Allah's command. This stone would lift up down and like an elevator as required after the wav hajis come to this point and offer two rakats of nafal prayers moving on to our last question what are jamarat and why do hajis go there so the answer will be the three spots where satan had tried to stop hazrat ibrahim salam had been marked these spots are called jamarat to follow the sunnah of hazrat ibrahim salam hajis go there to stone jamarat by this we are done with our first monthly or final term soon we'll be starting our second monthly or final term okay thank you for watching this video we will continue in the next lecture till then take care allah hafiz